Hello everybody, welcome back to the Spoked Wheel YouTube channel. Today, we are back with stage 9 out of 10 of the 2020 Giro Rosa series that we're doing. And we're really in crunch time at this point. Uh, the last two stages are both uphill finishes. The climbs are pretty similar. I believe stage 10 throughout the, the whole course has more climbing, but in both of these stages there's lots of climbing, lots of room to make change in the general classification, which is exactly what we're looking for. Because right now, our leader, Annemiek van Vleuten, is sitting in second place overall, uh, nine seconds back of the race leader, Cassia Nuiadoma. So we're within striking distance, um, and we need to have a good day to move up and take that lead. Ideally, I would love to go into the race lead today and then be able to defend it tomorrow in stage 10. That way I think the pressure would be less on us to try and do something in that stage and we could instead just focus on controlling things and riding defensively to secure the victory. So that would be perfect in my mind if we could do something on today's stage and move up and secure the Malia Rosa for the final stage. Um, the magazine, as always with these hilly stages, is picking ourselves, Van Vleuten, and then Cassia Nuiadoma. Makes a lot of sense. They've been the two strongest riders in the race. There's a reason they're 1-2 overall, um, and both have a big gap over basically everyone else in the race. Our equipment, we want everything light, frames, wheels, looks good, and our strategy has not changed at all. We're keeping it the same. Van Vleuten's our leader. We got our free elements, climbing domestiques in Kennedy and Spratt, and then our teammates and our sprinter, Sarah Roy. So all that looks good. I think we're gonna probably just try and keep things together until the final climb. We'll wait for the final climb to make our move in this stage. Um, I think with these sort of punchier stage finishes like this you got to be careful to time your effort uh to avoid going too deep and running out of energy and losing time so although we do want to be proactive and ride offensively we also do need to be careful to just make sure that everything we do is manageable uh and we don't go too deep and blow up basically um amanda spratt i think will probably be our most important teammate today She's also up to the top 10 in general classification, so it would be great if we could keep her in there. Um, that's a good achievement in of itself to grab a top 10 in a stage race like this. And then also Lucy Kennedy, who is in the top 20, sitting 18th right now. She will also be important, I think, over the course of the next two days. So let's get right into it. Hopefully we can turn things around and make up this nine second gap and achieve our goal of winning the overall. All right, so we're on the start line of stage nine. Uh, Annemiek Van Vleuten is on a solid day, the plus one race day condition, uh, which takes her mountain rating up to 84, same with hail rating. Uh, so that's very good, actually. Uh, should help us a lot. Here's Cassia Nuiadoma, our main rival for the day. Let's just have Van Vleuten hang out up here. Uh, Gracie Elwin protecting her is perfect. So just taking a look at that final climb, it's a lot of very steep gradients, a lot of time to make a move. Uh, this, not the last climb because there's a tiny climb in between, but the second to last climb before the final climb uh, also looks like a pretty good opportunity to split things up. So if we have plenty of teammates at that point in the race, I'll probably try and use them to whittle down the field and eliminate as many riders as I can. Um, maybe that would be the perfect time to use someone like Lucy Kennedy while saving Amanda Spratt for the final climb. But we'll see how the race unfolds. Like I said, we have to try and be offensive and gain back those nine seconds that we need. But at the same time, I don't want to feel like we have to go all out and risk losing everything because I don't think we do at this point in time. Uh, so let's just hang tight for the for the moment. Um, the breakaway can do their thing for now. That's okay. Uh, and 
we will see how the race plays out and how that impacts our strategy for trying to get the stage win and move up to first in the GC. We are getting close to the halfway point of the race right now on the slopes of this category two climb. Um, and honestly, not a whole lot to report at this point in the race. We're keeping Van Vleuten and Amanda Spratt up near the front and protected to keep them fresh for later on when we will need them. Uh, the breakaway has a two minute advantage. It's just four riders with the rider riding for the mountain classification jersey up there. Um, they're not really a threat at all in the GC and given that they only have a two minute gap, I would say they're not really a threat for the stage either at this point. Um, so we've been able to stay pretty quiet so far. We haven't had a chase or anything. Other teams are doing that for us right now, um, which is perfect. We'll try and get to this climb and see th where things are at and then make the decision on whether or not we want to try and detonate the race on that climb to set things up on the finish, finishing climb as well. So we're on our, this final major climb now before the finish and climb and things have gone absolutely insane. The road is really narrow so it's hard to uh, actually find space and be able to ride. Um, we got into some trouble here a little bit because Cassia Nui Adoma is up the road right now. We only have Amanda Spratt left with Van Vleuten. So she is currently riding at 85 effort. Um, I hope that there's enough climbing left in the race to bring things back, but I'm not positive whether or not that will be the case. This descent should help in terms of uh, recovering some energy, but we are in a little bit of trouble here, I would say, for the first time in the race. So hopefully our riders can have enough strength in the legs to respond. Uh, we really need to get onto this descent properly and recover energy, uh, which we now should be doing. But let's take a quick look. So I can't actually see Nui Adoma's group. I'm assuming she's in E1, which would put her almost two minutes ahead of us right now, uh, which is not good to say the least. Um, we are probably just gonna have to turn things over to Van Vloyt in here um, and have her ride and see if we can't bring things back because Spratt is out of energy. Um, so yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens, but this could be, uh, when it's all said and done, this has the potential to be the moment where we lost the race, for sure. Uh, Van Vleuten is very strong. She's on a good day today, so if there's anyone who could bring this move back, I think it's her. And she just rides away from everyone else on that little kicker there. But Nui Adoma is also very good, and she's shown that over the course of this race. So, um yeah you never know i'm not sure what's going to happen here but we're just going to relay and see if brenauer will work with us i would imagine she probably won't let's knock off the effort a little bit so we don't lose too much energy before the final climb we're basically just going to have to hope that uh nui Adoma runs out of energy on the final climb and we can then make up a lot of time and bring things back uh, it's very up and down in terms of gradients, so there's some sections where there's time to recover. Uh, we've now caught everyone on the road except for Nui Adoma, so we, Lucinda Brand is third overall. Um, let's just keep riding. Uh, we're going to kick up the effort a little bit here because we're in the final few kilometers. And yeah, we just have to hope that we can see Nui Adoma. We just have to hope that she runs out of gas, essentially, and that we don't. Uh, so the gap is coming down here. We're inside of two and a half kilometers. 
this whole stage has been like in and out of houses in these narrow streets. It's very interesting style of racing. Uh, it looks like we might just catch up to her as she heads into the final kilometer. She seems like she's out of energy, but she's still pushing on pretty strongly. And into this final little kicker. We're going to catch her. Can we come around for the win? I can't see because of all the houses. We are indeed going to win the stage. So that is a phenomenal ride and a half by Annemiek van Vleuten to save the race, basically. Uh, claw back that minute 50 gap to Cassia Nuyadoma after the, this third climb from the finish. Um, yeah, for a moment there, I honestly thought the race was lost and we were going to have zero chance of winning the GC. And now we take yet another stage win with Van Vleuten. Um, and with the bonus seconds, we should move to five seconds back of Nui Adoma. Uh, so we're chipping away. We're chipping away here. Um, there's still work to be done in the final stage, stage 10, but... Considering how that could have played out, I'm counting that as a huge win for Van Vleuten to have been able to get back and catch Nui Adoma before the stage finished. Um, and also, the stage win itself is uh, obviously another big plus. I lost count of how many stages we've actually won at this point in the race, but <laughs> it's been a ton. Um, I would say more than half of the stages we've come out on top. So there we go. In the end, Van Vleuten finished on the same time as Nui Adoma. Unreal effort by her to come back and catch up. Then Lucinda Brand, who is third overall, finished third on the stage. And yep, like we thought, we are now five seconds back of Nui Adoma heading into the final stage. It's going to be an incredible finish. Five seconds, it could go either way. The one-on-one -on -one battle is going to finally come to a head on stage 10. Lucinda Brand is over six minutes back, so really no one else in this race matters. We're just going to focus entirely on Nui Adoma and trying to do something to get rid of her. Um, Amanda Spratt sort of sacrificed herself there and dropped back to 12th overall. Um, it will be worth it in the end if we can get the victory with Van Vleuten, so... I'm not too concerned about that. It needed to be done considering what the race situation was at that point in time. So, didn't exactly go according to plan, but I'm very happy right now with how we recovered the situation considering how badly it could have ended up for our team at one point during that stage. So now we get a look at the profile for stage 10. It's basically just a circuit of the same Monte Corvino climb over and over again. Um, so there's a lot of climbing, almost no flat kilometers in the 110 kilometers that the stage covers. So we're going to have to try and go all out probably um, by like the third to last or second to last climb. We're going to need to be riding all out with our team to try and split up the race and get rid of Nui Adoma, and then I guess we'll just hand the keys to Van Vleuten on the final climb and see if she can't do what she does best and win the stage and hopefully win the race. Um, yeah, I mean, five seconds is almost nothing after nine stages of racing, so Nui Adoma and Van Vleuten have been very evenly matched throughout this whole event. It should be a thrilling finale to the series, um, so I'm very excited to play it and hopefully things will work out well and we can grab the victory. Um, but even if not, I think it's bound to be a very exciting finish one way or another. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that, that will be my next video. Um, and thank you as always for, for watching and following along the series, I appreciate it. Um, if you've enjoyed what you have been seeing, be sure to subscribe so you'll stay up to date on when I post videos in the future. But other than that, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time with Stage 10.